Mrs. Lane. Oh, hello, Carrie. Where's Mr. Kapopoulos? Is he out in the kitchen? Huh? No, he went out. He said he was going to a stylist to get a haircut. Oh, which one? He didn't say. Probably one of the ones on his head. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that, huh? Oh, what lovely flowers, Mrs. Lane. Yeah. Mr. Kapopoulos sent them to me. That's why I came over here, to see why. Wasn't there a note? Yeah, but it's very mysterious. I don't understand. Why would he send me flowers? It's not my birthday. He didn't have a baby. Maybe you're dead. <laughs> then he wouldn't have sent me this note. Well, what does the note say? Dear Mrs. Lane, please come to my apartment this evening to have dinner with me alone. Oh, why would he want to have dinner with me alone? He's seen me eat. <laughs> Flowers and a haircut. Dinner alone, you know. I think Mr. Kapopoulos wants to seduce me. <laughs> He's going to ravage, molest, and brutalize me. Oh, what will I do, Karen? What will I do? What will I do? Maybe you shouldn't go. Who asked you? <laughs> hey, what's doing? What's doing? We huh? have a problem. Mrs. Lane thinks Mr. Kapopoulos is going to try and seduce her. Can you help? Well, maybe he doesn't need any. Dean, <laughs> I ought to put you over my knee and spank you. But it might cause brain damage. <laughs> you tell Mr. Kapopoulos I'll see him at his apartment at 8.30 tonight. All right, good night. Can I get you something, Mr. Martin? Well, just uh, coffee, Karen. I'm, I'm meeting somebody here. Hi. Oh, hi, hi. I'm sorry I'm late, but it started to rain, and I had to go singing it. <laughs> well, Karen, I'd like you to meet Gene Kelly. Really? Gene Kelly? The movie star? Tell me, how's your husband, Prince Rainier? <laughs> Karen, you're thinking of Grace Kelly. This is Jean Kelly. Oh, are you in a relation to Grace Kelly? Yeah, we're sisters. <laughs> uh, could I have some coffee, too, please? Tell me, how do you like my new hairstyle? Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Kapopoulos, I don't really think it's you. To tell you the truth, neither do I. <laughs> Mr. Kapopoulos, meet Jean Kelly. Uh, put her there. Thanks. <laughs> I'll let you. Karen, I'm closing up the restaurant early tonight so you can go now. Oh, thank you. And by the way, Mrs. Lane was here and she said she'd see you at about 8.30. Goodbye, Mr. Kapopoulos. Goodbye, Mr. Martin. Goodbye, Miss Kelly. Hey, Mr. Kapopoulos, what's this I hear about you and Mrs. Lane? Dean, hmm? I've made a momentous decision. I'm going to ask Mrs. Lane to marry me. Hey, that's great. What made you decide to take the plunge? Well, I've been a widower for 15 years. Do you know what it's like to come home night after night to an empty bedroom? Look who he's asking. <laughs> Mr. Kelly. Yes? Can't you help me? Well, as it so happens, I am just now rehearsing a script that has a proposal scene in it. Can I have a look at it? Maybe I can pick sure. up a couple of pointers. Because in this first scene, a girl comes to my apartment. As soon as I see her, I take her hand and I say, oh, my dearest, you are the most beautiful, ravishing, alluring, most gracious creature my eyes have ever beheld. Gosh, if you were only Italian. <laughs> I think my worries are over. Oh, my dearest, you're the most beautiful, ravishing, alluring creature my eyes have ever beheld. Hello. Is this the police department? <laughs> no, it's all right. I just want to be sure you're there in case I need you. Care to shake a leg, sweetheart? If you don't mind, I'd rather dance. I guess you can imagine why I asked you here tonight. Yeah, I can imagine. I want you in the worst way. Yeah, that's what I'm imagining. I'm desperately in need of someone. You know how it is. 
Mr. Kapopoulos, I've been a widow so long, I don't even remember how it was. What I'm trying to say is, I want you for my wife. But your wife is dead. What could she want with me? Mrs. Lee, you don't understand. I'm asking you to marry me. Marry you? You mean you didn't ask me here for indecent and immoral purposes? You're not going to molest and brutalize me? Of course not. You're all alike. <laughs> Mrs. Lane. Mrs. Kapopoulos. <laughs> <laughs>